Hi everyone, welcome to GemChem. Now this is a video on basic introduction to organic chemistry and this is part 5. And if you have not watched previous video, do watch it. I will give the link in the description box. Now in this video, we are going to deal with molecular orbital construction for carbonyl compounds, for allyl system and for benzene ring. And also we will deal with other cyclic hydrocarbons, but in a short manner. Now let us start. Now, previously we have already seen the molecular orbital diagram for the but butadiene and ethylene, right? And here we will also see for the carbonyl group. Now, first see for ethene. It was 2C orbitals for 2PZs taken and they had equal contribution for pi and pi star. But in case of carbonyl compounds, what we have is a carbon and an oxygen right so we have a carbon and an oxygen now carbon has also 2pz and this oxygen has also 2pz right but oxygen being more electronegative the 2pz is lowered in energy that is it is having less energy than in case of carbon so we observe that here the oxygen orbital for 2pz is much lower so this contribution for pi and pi star is different this pi star is much near to carbon and the pi is much near to oxygen so this has to be remembered so the diagram is like this right that is here is the pi star and here is the pi at the downside. Red is the molecular orbital for oxygen. So to summarize, we have here a carbon orbital 2pz and here we have a oxygen orbital 2pz, right? And when we draw and construct the MO, here is our pi star and here is our pi, right? So, we get here our pi. So, this is the MO diagram for carbonyl compound. And carbonyl compound has one electron here and one electron here to form a double bond, right? So, before forming a double bond, one electron present here and another electron present here for this double bond. So, we can put two electrons in this orbital. So, this is the diagram for carbonyl compound, MO diagram. Now, let us see. Now see, this is a valence shell molecular orbital energy level diagram. Now here we can see that previously we have already obtained sigma orbital, then pi orbital, then pi star and sigma star. Here one extra thing is non-bonding orbital. Now in non-bonding orbital, there is present electrons which are either lone pair or from negative charge species, the extra electrons are present here. Now sigma and sigma star has huge gap in between them. And these sigma orbitals form sigma bond and pi orbitals forms pi bond. Now, this orbital, molecular orbital level diagram will be required to understand what is electrophile and what is nucleophile. So, let us see our next topic. Now, molecular orbital of allyl system. What is allyl system? It consists of one single bond followed by one double bond. Here, if we... Construct this as CH double bond CH2 and this is break and this bond is hydrogen, right? Now, first case when there is a positive charge, what happens? Let us see. When there is positive charge, then this whole bond electrons are taken away by hydrogen. So, here there is a deficiency of electron, right? So, we get a positive charge. In the second case, what happens? There is an equal chance of breakage. One electron goes here and one electron comes here. So, we get one electron that is radical, right? And in the last case, here we see that the total electron is being donated to carbon and the hydrogen comes out as H+. plus. So, we get this, right? So, these are the three kinds of allyl system which we are going to deal with. Okay, now let us see. This is our 
allyl cation, allyl radical, allyl anion. Now see the molecular orbitals. See this. These are the three molecular orbitals for three carbons. Atomic orbitals combines to form the molecular orbitals. Since there is three atomic orbitals on combination, they will form three molecular orbital levels. Now see. This three atomic orbitals combines first like this, then one nodal plane is present between them and then two nodal planes. So we know this, how to construct this, we have already seen in our previous video. Now for cation, there will be loss of two electrons, right? We have seen that two electrons is lost from one bond. So here only two electrons are present. This is our homo. This is our homo, right? In next case, there is a radical. So, we have one of the electrons present here and this is known as SOMO that is semi-filled molecular orbital or semi-occupied molecular orbital. And this case, there is extra two electrons. This is present here, right? The molecular orbital of benzene. In this case, the benzene has six atomic orbitals, right? Since six carbons, we have already seen six carbons means six aos, that is atomic orbitals, and they combine to form six molecular orbitals. So this is important. Now see the combinations, different types of combinations. First C for first one. Now while constructing the cyclic hydrocarbons together, we have to remember Olvex one of the vertex of that molecule or that shape must be kept at downside and another upside. If it is five membered ring, one vertex here and it will end up like this. We will see. Now for first one, let us see. For the first one, there is no nodal plane, right? So these are combined in phase. For xi2, there are two xi2 as they are degenerate. So, for these, we have two nodal planes placed here and here. So, there is a phase change between these two orbitals. Whereas, for this case, xi2, there is nodal planes in these two sides. So, there is a phase change here. But here, the combination is actually in phase. Right? Here, the combination is actually in phase. Whereas, for here, there is out of phase for these two. Right? Here is also in phase combination and here these are two out of phase whereas these are two in phase combinations. Now let us see our xi3. Now in case of xi3 we have four nodal planes right. So these all four right leaving behind these two because there is nodal plane so no atomic orbitals will be present. So, these are out of phase combinations, right? All are out of phase combination. And for these xi3, there is also 4 which are passing through the sides, not through the atomic orbital portions, that is vertex. So, we are getting here an in phase combination, here also an in phase combination for these out of phase combinations. Now, this is the last one where there is all nodal planes in each of the vertex. Now, see. Here, 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 here. So, construction of different phases for each of the categories, right? So, this is out of phase with this, this is out of phase with this, whereas this is out of phase with this and this is out of phase with this. So, this is important to understand. Now, this is the construction for the benzene ring, right? So, now we will see how electrons are being occupied. Now, benzene ring has six atomic orbitals. So, on combination, they form six molecular orbitals and they have six electrons. So, two electrons come here and two electron, two electron goes into the xi2 degenerate orbitals. So, these xi2s are our homo and this xi3 is our lumo. These two xi3s are lumo. Now, see, for constructing, what is the easy way? First, draw the shape. Suppose we are taking for benzene. 
so we have drawn a benzene shape with keeping the vertex down side then we put here dashes in the vertex right by putting the dashes now how to make the electrons occupy since six atomic orbitals six electrons present in it right six electrons so we occupy first here two then one one again two left so two two this is how diagrams are constructed now if we consider for suppose pentane what we will do we will draw the pentane with one vertex downside right and here we will draw the dashes this is the molecular orbital level diagram now we have known that since there is five carbon atoms so there will be how many electrons see pentane it is like this and if it is aromatic or non aromatic it depends on that suppose we take this system then 1 2 1 1 okay and if we want to complete this that is if we want to make it occupied by two electrons then we require two electrons here right so this is the way to construct the molecular orbitals for cyclic hydrocarbons now let us see this is pi molecular orbital of conjugated cyclic hydrocarbons this is for our n equal to 4 that is butane system right and this is for our pentane system and this is for our benzene system we have already seen cyclohexane system and this is for n equal to 8 that is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 clear and these have specific radius now this part is being considered as alpha okay and this part that is from here this is considered to be as alpha minus beta clear and this part is considered to be as alpha plus beta and the down one is another beta so this is considered to be as alpha plus 2 beta and this part is considered to be as alpha minus 2 beta clear and for this diagram if we consider for this one then we know the central one will be alpha right now see this one will be what this one will be alpha plus beta alpha minus beta actually alpha minus beta and this part will be alpha plus beta and this one will be alpha minus 2 beta and this one will be alpha plus 2 beta this is actually the energies energies of this orbitals and the greatest contribution for benzene ring is J1 right these contribute to the stability as there is two electrons present here now we can consider it as a circle how can we have obtained this one if we consider it as a circle then the circle has a radius of 2 beta right and this one is actually alpha and this half of it is beta so we have in this way come to a conclusion about the energy okay so before construction you can draw a circle and then construct or you can remember how to assign the energy values so assigning the energy value is also important right now this much for today thank you for watching do not forget to like share comment and subscribe